Today I'm reacting to operatic baritones that you might not have heard of, but you should have. If you do know them, I salute you, fellow opera lover. It's a pity they're a part of a lesser known group of amazing baritones. I want to give them some much deserved love in this video. So now I'm going to be sharing some of their most amazing performances and react to them. These are some super highly requested videos from you all. So if you never heard of these baritones, well now you have. Let's get to listening. Handsome devil, look at him. Very debonair. Tutto è deserto, ne per l'ora ancora, suona l'usato carne, in tempo io giungo. Damn! What a voice! Lots of Dimitri tones, sort of Leonard Warren, dark and honey tone. Wow. Wow. Bello e più possente è l'aria presta l'altare. There's a lot of reverb in the sound. They're singing somewhere with a lot of high ceilings and stone. Here we go. Come on, what's he gonna do? Holy God, that was awesome! Oh, truly. <laughs> I'm literally truly because that was so good. Swallow, Lucas. Okay. never quits, the spin, the legato never ends. Listen to his beautiful Italian diction, but not too much. He just feels it in his heart. I believe everything he says. I believe everything, every sound that comes out of his mouth. at the same picture of this guy the whole time with my mouth dropped open. I'm not even watching him. It's not a video. That is not easy to do. This is a hard aria, by the way. Doesn't sound like it when he's doing it. I'm still drooling. Swallow! Breath. Nice. Steal that. Oh, I've got a new way of doing this aria now. Thank you, Natalia. Thank you. Listen to that. Oh my god, bravo. This is the reason I'm making this video, is because this guy is absolutely one of the best baritones I've ever heard. He's one of the best opera singers I've ever heard in my life. That is one of the best pure sounds I've ever heard. This guy should be on everyone's top 10 list. What a voice! Go out, get you some Erlea recordings, 
and just enjoy and try not to drool all over yourself like I've been doing listening to him. <laughs> this guy's fucking amazing. I, I, I am so impressed. You know who he reminds me of? Artur Rachinsky. Yeah. Yeah. Because Artur has a naturally darkened zone like that. You know, he's just really super talented. I wonder why he's not more famous too. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure somebody out there, enlighten us please in the comments. Let us know why Erlea is not 50 times more famous than he is because he has the voice of a god. Please tell us. La tempesta de Who cares about the pitches of the pitch? Ah, it's very legato. And very spoken. You, you can tell that we're dealing with a true Italian here. Look at that. Look at that guitar. Always oh, playing the, uh, the uh, tenor aria. That's his name. I can't even remember all of his name. Oh, nice genie. Really dark and thick sound. And you can tell it carries in the house. Listen to where that dentalized T is. It's right on the tip of the tongue. It's not la 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 la. It's la 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 la. You can tell his mouth is open the whole time. It's just going la 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 la. Beautifully done. All of his consonants happen right on his teeth. I should have listened to see if he got all those pitches right. Hardly anyone gets all those little half steps right. Maybe not even myself. There he is. Oh, let's slow it down. <laughs> nice. Wow. A much faster vibrato. That's also indicative of this time period, is that the vibrato spins a little bit faster. The lighter voices, faster vibratos is what you're used to hearing. Oh. I guess it's a new tradition to sing the G there. This just seems like he's falling out of bed doing this. It sounds like such an easy aria when he, you listen to him sing it. It just sounds easy. It sounds like he's just being... Oh, look at that picture. <laughs> he blacked out his teeth. <laughs> anyway, either that or he's joined the circus after his opera career like I might have to after my... <laughs> Listen to those consonants. It doesn't sound like patter because it's so... Nice. <laughs> Hardest part of the aria for me is right there. Because it's right in the crack of the passaggio, right in the middle of the passaggio, going in and out just in those little half steps. We're already speeding up. So we sped up to the tempo before we got there. Even that is just so legato, so legatissimo. So legato, that's fun. I want to do that. God, please. Right. Oh, I 
feel like I'm both going backwards in time and forwards in time at the same time somehow. Did you hear how he's a sono il factotum della città? It allows for a lot more breath before you uh, get to the big high note at the end, so you're not losing sono il factotum della città. Sono il factotum. By the way, for those of you baritones out there that sing this aria, make sure you look at those notes on the page. They're different. Sono il factotum della città. Sono il factotum. They're different. Both of them are different. So you can't just go, well, I, you can apparently, because if Tito the Rufo can do it, pretty much anyone should be able to. But what a great singer, what a great guy. My God, he sounds just like somebody I'd want to meet, somebody I'd want to share a, a bowl of pasta with in Milano or something. Uh, God, uh, great voice. Thank you so much for recommending him because uh, it's good. I feel like I learned something and I'm going to incorporate some of that into the next Barbieri that I sing. Modification on the school, you can tell he's keeping open in the back the entire time. Little climb up to the top. I don't hate it. Oh. All right. Can't wait to tell the next conductor I do this with that I'm taking space there. <laughs> and why? Well, listen to Urbano and you'll understand. don't feel in his voice is that there's any thought. Oh nice, I'm passing gone. Right there, I don't get any feel of I'm in the passaggio, I'm not in the passaggio, I'm climbing through the passaggio. It's just really figured out. He goes up, he doesn't doesn't sound overcovered, doesn't sound great. sophisticated sound where it's not like heroic and vibrant in the fact that he smashes into the high notes and they sound great but it's more of a happenstance that the high note happens like he's just in the character and he sings through the high note and he holds it and he means it but that's what I'm getting from all of these guys they just mean what they're saying the 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 beautiful singing is an afterthought to meaning your words and feeling the character First off, light, so light compared to what we're used to hearing. Ah, Battistini, okay, okay. <laughs> he almost got down there. crack like he's just his own special master of his voice and also 
if you listen in the background to the orchestra, it's a lot more sort of pizzicato in the woodwinds than it is these days. It's a little more legatissimo here, traditionally. But that's interesting, though, because it speaks a lot to how art and music develop over years and years, because obviously we know, we know Pagliacci by Leon Cavallo, and uh, we, we have an idea of how it goes, but when we hear it closer to the time frame when the composer wrote it, it's, it's a totally different beast, and you start to think, well, how, how have we decided that the voice type that sings Tonio is like a Verdi baritone, almost dramatic baritone? It's a, it's a lot more thicker, richer, and bolder of a sound now than apparently Leon Cavallo probably wanted, so I guess I've got a lot of Tonios in my future. <laughs> you can tell he's, he's got some uh, difficulties with the bottom range. It's a little... But what I like about his bottom range is he's not sacrificing uh, his forward placement for depth in the lower. He's just saying, these are my low notes, take them or leave them, uh, instead of uh, trying to over darken it. Legatissimo, light but spinny. Like, I'm judging this with my modern ears. It makes me think that maybe what they did really right back then was meant what they did. Because as I'm listening to this and as I listen to Tito Rufo, they are just so, they, 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 they're not even acting the characters, they just are the characters. They're just being the characters without worrying too much about vocal stuff. They're, it's like, they're like, oh yeah, this is just how I sing down to my lower notes and this is, this is my voice and I, it's more important to them, it seems, to be so in character. And with the orchestra as well, it's not so exact. It's not so exact. You get a pureness out of it that you don't normally feel. There's something about this that really is moving me. He doesn't change anything about the voice. He just keeps his voice right where his voice is. He trusts it. I think way too much about singing, and I probably do. And that maybe when I'm older, like you go and you listen to um, a recording of Horowitz, a recording when he's older, and he plays something really simple. And you hear him at the piano, and, and what you hear is not necessarily individual notes on the piano. What you end up hearing is decades of musicality. It's where it's almost like, of course he's gonna play the right notes, so just be in the moment. That's what I'm feeling from these Golden Age baritones is that they capture a moment. Rather than making a perfect representation of musicality and their voice and saying, oh, well that note, I, wasn't, I was a little sharp on that. Oh, I could, have, I could have sung that a little better. It's more about just creating an honest moment. Thank you again so much 
for recommending these amazing greats and to like finally revisit some of these guys. I haven't listened to these guys since I was in college, a lot of them, you know. Go and listen to some people that you hadn't heard of before. Take a chance. Who knows? You might listen to an Erlea and get your mind blown. I learned something today. I learned a lot today, actually. So I hope you did too. And subscribe to my channel and we'll keep learning together.